how to do gold leaf effect nails. This is a guest video for polishables. These nails are a great casual look that you can use with any kind of metallic colour and any kind of colour that you want to use underneath. So I've left one nail undone here to show you how to do this. Afterwards, paint two coats of a dark colour that you want underlying your gold leaf. I'm using LA Colours Chocolate Shimmer. So this is a pretty cheap nail polish that I got for about 90p. Um, for me at the moment, I don't do a load of nail art, so for me it's more quantity rather than quality when it comes to nail polish. I like to have lots of colours and if it just chips that gives me a chance to do it again. So I've now waited a while and my nail polish is completely dry, the brown nail polish here. Um, and I know this by if I rub on it, it doesn't move, I can tap on it and it doesn't dent. So you really like have to wait a good while. Uh, when I originally did this I, I did it by mistake and actually I, I painted the gold over the uh, over the brown after the day after doing my nails brown I got kind of bored of it and I didn't have time to take my nail varnish off so I just painted some gold polish over it um, and it smudged um, and I notice you get this effect. Um, so I would wait till your nail polish is completely dry because otherwise it might slip when you do the smudging. Now you'll need a gold polish um, and again this, this polish is an LA Colours nail, nail polish and this is called, um, I don't know if you can see, it's called Solar Gold. Um, and what you do is you paint a nice uh, thick layer of this right over the brown or whatever whatever polish you've decided to uh, put on your base there you go so it'll look something like this and then you want to let it dry for about a minute or so but the trick is is to wait until it's still a bit fluid so that it could still dent or or slide around or something like that but that it's hard enough so that it will stay on the nail um so you know the trick when you touch your nail to your lip and you see if it's still sticky and if it is it's still wet so you want to wait until it's almost not sticky anymore and that's about the point where you want to do the smudging so i've now waited about a minute and my nail polish is just the mount dry enough that I want it to. You can see it's sort of dented in the side here um, from me testing it a bit prematurely but that's okay because we're going to smudge it a bit anyway uh, so don't worry if you dent your nails just a little bit. Um, so what I'm doing is I've got a bit of packing tape here which I've put around my nail. I've just taken a little bit um, and this is because the first time I did it, I don't know if you can see, but there's a uh, tiny little ridges um, from my fingerprints from doing the smudging around there, which I, I don't think is quite as gold leafy as I would like it. So I'm hoping that the tape will smooth out my fingerprints um, so that you won't get those indentations. So I'm going to use my finger with the packing tape on it and just take this and Slot, press my thing, the pad of my finger, so I'm going to press the pad of my finger down onto the nail and slide it ever so slightly to break the, uh, the nail polish at the top so you can see a bit of colour underneath and you can see I've jumped the gun just a tiny bit so the nail polish is sticking to the packing tape now, if you wait just a little bit longer, you'll have an easier time of this. And if you use your finger, it's a little less sticky. You can either wait a little bit longer 
and do it with a packing tape or you can accept the indentations of your fingerprint and uh, just go ahead and do it. I sort of actually like the gaps a little bit because it means you can see the colour underneath which is quite nice. So you get this kind of gold wrinkly effect on the top which looks a lot like gold leaf and, and that's how you do it. Now you can leave it like this or if you want your nails a bit shinier and to smooth things out a bit you can put on a top coat and I've done this on my pinky so you can see what it looks like. Um, it's a bit shinier there and if you compare that to my ring finger for example which is completely dry uh, you can see that it does get a bit shinier with the top coat and it, it smooths, smooths things out a little bit um, which might be nice so, you know this feels a little bit bumpy um, but that's a matter of taste really. Um, so yeah enjoy doing your nails with this gold leaf effect and I'll see you next time.